Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain what array index out of bounds exception and how we can avoid it from happening. Um, this is the same program that we've written in uh, video number 18. I just want to change a few things though. Instead of a double, I'd like this to be an integer. So I'll call this array of int instead. Um, and I'll just change them. And instead of using um, the next double method, I'm using next integer because we are we've changed it into an integer. So I'm I'm meaning to actually create um, an array of uh, integers with three indexes and just putting these values. So that's that's the plan. Um, right. So <clears throat> I'll enter the size of the array. I'll keep that, and then I've created an instance of the array based on that size. Um, now what I'll do is I wanted to grab user entry and put in those values. Now I'm going to ask the user, instead of displaying all of the values, I'm going to say specifically um, uh, which index they'd like to, to, to display. Okay, so I would need another, uh, another integer variable called user index entry. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, that's what I'm calling mine. And uh, I'll say, which index would you like to display? Okay. And I'll grab user's entry uh, using the next integer method. And then I would just display that. Okay. And then I'll say um, integer at index um, is, and this has to be a decimal, not a float. Okay. And uh, the index is actually the user entry, and we are displaying that. So let's let's run this program and see how it works. So I'm doing an array with three spots. Okay, and uh, I'm putting the values one, two, and three. Which index would you like to display? So if I said one, it should print 22, and which it does. Okay, now what if I put in a value that is not in the range of the array? So um, what if I put in the value number three, for example? And so let's see what happens. Um, putting three, one, two, and three, and then I'll say I want to display the fourth element. So it's telling me that the program crashes and it says um, it's an array index out of bounds exception. Now this happens when we try to access an index that is not in the range of the array or it, it doesn't exist in the created array, such as this case. So anything that is not in the yellow is out of the range, is not, in, not within the array. So this exception is thrown at runtime. Um, it means that the compiler did not complain before that. It didn't put an underline here or anything of that sort. This is because this exception is caused depending on user entry. So the compiler doesn't know, or cannot predict what the user could enter. So it would work on certain entry, but on other entries it would crash. So that's why we call this a runtime exception. Okay, so how do we fix it? We could simply have a an um, a condition here that checks if user entry is less than array size, then it's fine. We are within the range. Okay. Oh, sorry, I put this in somewhere else. Okay. Right. Okay, so now let's run it. This should prevent us. Um, oh, I could have an else, so that just so we know. And then um, I could say no such index uh, exists. Okay. So three one 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 two 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 three three three, and now I'll say three. Now it's 
this, this is false, so you will go to the next one. Okay, now another question is, what if I put in anything that is also negative? So we know that anything positive above 2 is out of range. So what about below 0? So I'm going to run this again and create the array again. And I'll say minus 1. Oops, again, we have the same exception. So we can prevent it by having another condition and saying, well, user entry is greater or equal to 0. We have equal to 0 because 0 is a valid index. So we want it to be included. So if I do this again, and minus 1, so we've kind of taken care of it in our uh, L the else is executed. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.